Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews of Tech Channel, and I've just got my brand new pair of binoculars, the Celestron Skymaster 15 by 70 I'm going to use this for some asteroid viewing, hopefully tonight with a near flyby uh, object, and then also a comet next month, and then the big one, the comet Ison at the end of the year. So I've just got these in the mail. I'm going to open them up and check them out. I'm going to compare them to these probably 20-year-old binoculars that I have. These are actually 10 by 50s, so um, with these at night I've been able to see, you know, just make out the rings of Saturn, uh, four moons of Jupiter and so forth, so they're okay for that, but I'm looking for something a little better suited to nighttime celestial viewing. These are more, they're lightweight, they're rubberized, they're meant for, you know, taking out into the woods with you, looking for animals and that sort of thing. You can tell from the case too, the way it's designed, uh, all this green color. And something that's interesting is both of these cost about the same amount of money, even though I'm anticipating these to be far nicer binoculars, um, around $50 or so. Uh, these are actually $120 binoculars, but for some reason, I, don't, I haven't looked into exactly, they've gotten kind of ridiculously cheap. Um, I assume the, maybe they've overproduced them in China or something, but the price has really dropped on them, so really a great bargain. So, so I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check out the specs on these or what the latest price is, what they're going for, but really it's such a good deal, it's hard to resist. Okay, open it up and find out. Very large plastic bag. I think they may already be in some kind of a case. Yeah, that's everything that's in the box. comes with a manual in several languages, so really you only have, I think, one page per language. And this is apparently the case. Looks like it's a carrying case. There seems to be a strap here. And the binoculars themselves. They're large. Mm-hmm. That's got to be the tripod adapter. What I really wanted to know with these is how heavy are they really? Do you really need to hook them up to a tripod to have them outside in the backyard for a few minutes and use them? Here they are. Whoa! That's a substantial size. Compare them here to my old 10 by 50s. Yeah, it's a whole other world of binocular. And then if you look at the size of the lens there at the, at the, yeah. Main thing that makes these good at night, so I've heard, and I'll find out here shortly, is, of course, having the large lens, you gather more light. Number two, having multi-coated optics, which is there's a special coating on the lenses so that instead of bouncing the light off, they're able to bring that light in. And then the prisms that are located right in here, I don't, I don't imagine they're very good ones that are in this, um, but, but so long ago I doubt I could find the specs on it. But these have the BAK4. Okay, I've had a few minutes now, played around with them a little, set up the focus with the mailbox out the window and so forth. <clears throat> I can tell you my first impressions that they are heavy. They're like really, oh my, yes, they are heavy compared to regular binoculars. And so I was concerned about that. I had to try them at night to see how much of a strain it's going to be to hold them and keep them steady to look at something for any amount of time. But it also makes me glad I didn't get anything bigger because they certainly make these even larger with larger lenses at the end, bigger magnification, more pieces to it, add another pound, another two pounds. And so those are definitely, I imagine, I mean, other than for just very short periods of time, those are going to be pretty much tripod only binoculars. And I plan to have the tripod out with this. But um, especially for the kids, I'd like them to be able to just hold it and point and see the stuff because it's uh, really hard for them with the telescope. They basically have to wait while I punch in the numbers or finally get it aligned and get the clock drive going and then they can take a look at something. So I think this would be quicker and more fun for them. Now the focus seems sharp, the color seems good. It's daytime out, I'll just have to wait and see to try it at night. They, I did find on this the, uh, the tripod adapter piece here basically plugs in here, it screws in, and then the bottom of it has the hole that's going to attach to the screw mount of the tripod. And the way you access it is they hide it under this little colorful piece right here. 
this is screwed on to the outside edge of it, and you take that off, let me show you. Here you see it in the middle? Yeah, that's where you're going to plug it in. Let me give you a closer look here at everything on here. The real test will be tonight, of course, holding them up at this angle and trying to see if I can keep them steady and keep them centered on something. And one other thing to, to say for binoculars is um, I have a nice telescope, um, but it is somewhat of a chore to set it up and let, the, let it cool down when I take it out in the winter evening and so forth before we can actually use it. And it's a little frustrating for the kids to wait because they can't really be as involved in, in getting it pointed at the things that they want to see. The other thing with telescope is, of course, if they were to, you know, be running by, playing around with their board and catch foot on the tripod, tip the whole thing over, or it's all out of alignment, or worse yet, something's broken, it's a very expensive thing. You want to share it with them, but you don't want to lose the, the hardware in the process, whereas this, um, I think even after the tax was less than $60. So if they were to drop them or something, if worse comes to worse, it's $60. It's something you can feel a lot more comfortable letting the kids be closely involved in to, you know, hand them around and everybody takes a turn to look and so forth. And with a telescope, it's, you know, be careful, don't bump it, don't jar it. So I think this is going to work out real well. I'll be out tonight, or at least as soon as we have a clear night, I'll uh, do some video through the lens of these and uh, compare it to my old binoculars and uh, compare it, I think, to a telescope with a low power lens in it just to give a sense of how much of that field of view you lose when you go to a telescope, but also see how much difference there is in the brightness. So I'll link up here with uh, that video when I get some of that footage recorded. And also, if you remember, if you want to check out specs, I've got a link down below in the description if you want to see uh, what these are going for now and other reviews of them as well.